Hey, what's going on? Bill DeWeese here with uh, more information to help you build your voiceover business. And lately, I've really been on the topic of of growing your business. And uh, as I've mentioned before, it's one thing to have your demo. It's one thing to get your training. Uh, but unless you're getting clients, you're not getting gigs, you're not getting business, and you can't make any money at this, let alone making a living at it. And we've talked about some different things, but today I want to talk about the importance of, of activity and digging sometimes, really working hard to get the client. I mean, some things are obvious. You can get listed on websites that use voice talent rosters to farm out work. You can get agents. You can uh, work the directories to find video production companies uh, to uh, and hopefully convince them to, to use you to record their projects. But sometimes you really have to dig deeper into the not so obvious. And first of all, let me talk about activity. Activity is important because really this is as much a sales game as it is anything. And any successful salesperson will tell you, uh, you have to remain active. You constantly have to be looking and presenting your case and telling your story to as many people possible. And a good salesperson will also tell you that it's a numbers game. The more times you can tell your story or give your pitch or whatever you want to call it, the more chances you have to get the sale, or in our case, to get the client for our voiceover work. So we want to stay as active as we can. We want to tell our story, get our face, or in our case, our voice in front of as many people as possible, because the more activity we create, the more dust we stir up you know, in our activity, the more business we will eventually get. Today, again, we'll talk specifically about digging for work. There may be things that you come across on occasion and think, wow, you know, that would really be, I would like to do that. That sounds like fun, or that's a great company. I think I'd love to do something with them. And uh, when you come across those, don't be discouraged from trying to figure out a way to get in front of them. And the way to do that, the method to do that, maybe. Let's see what we've got here. It looks like a client. So we'll send them the voicemail. We'll pick it up later. Um, love my clients, but I love you as well. I want to get this information out there. And that is, uh, again, you want to stay busy and get in front of the right people. Now, a again, it may not be the same way in every scenario. So you're going, to, you're going to have to be resourceful in finding ways to do that. And I wanted to share with you a case study, a, a story of, of something that recently happened to me. As a matter of fact, I was working on a project for a client that I came across in an unusual way. And I was hopefully by, I'm hoping that by telling you that story, it might inspire you to go out and, and try to find jobs in places that maybe you wouldn't normally think about or, or normally uh, attempt to do. There is a website called getabstract.com, getabstract.com. And I uh, came across this website and I was really interested in it, not from a voiceover perspective, but from a customer, me being a customer perspective. Um, I'm an MBA, a former college professor, and I taught not only communications, but taught business courses in, in, in a graduate program at a local university. And I love business literature, especially when it comes to, to marketing and marketing strategy and business strategy and marketing communications. I love, anytime I can get my hands on a book or literature of that topic, I'll do so. And I love the idea, <clears throat> excuse me, of book summaries because um, my attention span, uh, as I've been told, is about that of a gnat. In other words, I have a very short attention span. So I like book summaries because I can get to the meat of the information and then I can move on and do whatever's next on my plate. And um, so I've, I've been interested in a long time in subscribing to a summary service but, uh, or an abstract service, but had never done that. So I came across Get Abstract, which is the, the largest library of business books, uh, not only uh, current books, but also past uh, publications as well. And there are tens of thousands of abstracts that, that you can get uh, that where you can quickly update yourself on the latest information and business and so on and so forth. So, so anyhow, long story short, I subscribed to get abstract, really loved the product. And uh, I, I had a, a subscription for, it was a six month subscription where I could get unlimited abstracts. So, you know, every night I was like a ravenous reader. I was just tearing through these, these abstracts and also found out that they had, they had the audio version for these abstracts available as well. And I like to run. And so in the evenings when, uh, or afternoons when I would run, I would download these uh, audio versions of abstracts and listen to them on my iPod. 
And I thought, well, as a voiceover artist, I would love, since I love the literature, I would love to record these. But how would I go about doing that? So I went to the website, getabstract.com, and could not find a good place of contact there. Everything was sales-oriented. In other words, the only contact information was really for those who wanted to to buy the product. Um, and they were located in Europe, which was also a bit of another barrier. So um, I, I set out to find the information I, I needed outside of their website. And Google is always a great tool to do that. So I began searching for anything related to get abstract that I could find via Google. And through my searchings, I found a resume that had been posted online by one of the writers for Get Abstract who lived here in the who lives here in the United States. And uh, so I, I clicked the link and it brought up the resume. And on this guy's resume, it shows that that he writes abstracts for Get Abstract. It also had his contact information. So I contacted this gentleman and expressed to him my interest in getting in touch with the company because I'm a voiceover artist, et cetera, et cetera. He, in turn, contacted uh, some folks who worked for the company, who in turn contacted me, and who in turn put me in touch with a recording studio in New York that they work with to record their audiobook summaries, the audio form of their audiobook summaries. Um, And that resulted in a contact from the recording studio to me. Now, we had to make, there were several communications going on back and forth over a period of maybe a month or so. Long story short, today, I record audiobook summaries for getabstract.com. And I absolutely love it. As a matter of fact, uh, today I just finished recording my last five audiobook summaries because I love the content. But now I get paid for recording it. And again, the reason I share that with you is not that that formula necessarily works the same every time. But if you become resourceful and you dig around a little bit and there's something that you're passionate about and you're interested in, if you can find somebody out there that has some connection, contact them, let them know your interest, and see if they might refer you to somebody who can refer you to somebody who will eventually, through your activity, get you in front of the right person. And uh, that's just one way, again, to, to help build and build upon your own voiceover success. So get resourceful, stay active, and you will find the gigs that you need uh, to be a full-time uh, successful voiceover artist. And I wish you all the luck in the world. And actually, it takes more than luck. It takes a lot of hard work. So I wish you all the success in the world as you build your voiceover business.